The Mihi Animas Chataratole, Give Me Souls, Take Away the Rest, Father John Po, SDB. We are now in the second Sunday of Advent. Advent is a season of preparation. We are preparing to welcome once again the Lord in our hearts. Naghahanda tayo upang tanggapin muli ang ating Panginoon sa ating buhay sapagkat naniniwala po tayo at nananampalataya na ang presensya ng Diyos ay nagdadala ng kapayapaan sa ating buhay, sa ating puso't isipan. Yes, there will always be struggles and pains in our lives, but we find peace because we know that we are not alone because God is with us in this journey. In our first reading, a Prophet Isaiah is presenting to us that the Lord, the Spirit of Justice will come. And if the Spirit of Justice be present in us, there will be peace because each and every one of us will think of the good of all. Ang iniisip mo lang yung kapakanan ng iyong kapwa, hindi ka naglalamang sa iyong kapwa, that you are also thinking the good of your brothers and sisters. Kung kaya nga po ang ganda po ng mga simbol na ginamit ni Isaiah, no? that the lamb and the lion will live together. The baby and the snakes will play together. It's a symbol wherein there is peace because there is harmony, because there is justice. Justice, the Spirit of the Lord leading us that we always respect one another. And that is what the message of our second reading. If you want justice, if you want peace, if you want harmony, be faithful to the instruction that was handed over to us through the scriptures. Because in the scriptures, we will see how God has accepted, understand us, give mercy to us, forgive us from all our iniquities, from our sinfulness, God welcome us in His heart. And that is the challenge of our second reading. If you want peace, as what the first reading is telling, you have to learn from Jesus. And that is to open your heart, to forgive one another, to understand one another, to accept one another as we were accepted by God, forgiven by God, given mercy and love and compassion. That is the instruction that the scripture is telling to each and every one of us. And we have to follow it. Kung kaya nga po ang ganda ng message ng ating Ibanghelyo in our gospel for today, taken from the gospel of Matthew chapter 3 verse 1 to 12, wherein sinasabi niya, asking for forgiveness, acknowledging your sinfulness is not enough for you to gain salvation but what will give you salvation and peace of mind and heart is repentance ano sinasabi ng repentance is making a decision to change your ways to improve yourself to let go all the negative things the bad things in your life hindi po mahalaga sa mata ng Diyos ng ating mga kasalanan Ang dinitingnan sa atin ng ating Panginoon is the struggle that we face every day to overcome the weakness that we possess and letting go of all these things because we want to answer His call and that is to be perfect as my Heavenly Father is perfect. That's why in the Gospel we will hear that the Spirit of the Lord will come to inflame us. Nabibigyan tayo ng buhay at lakas upang gustuhin natin na tayo ay magbago. Ito po yung challenge sa atin in this second Sunday of Advent. As we prepare ourselves to welcome the Lord, let us ask ourselves, are we ready to welcome Him by letting go all the negative things in our life, in our hearts, so that we will be able to find peace? Because that is justice. If you want something, you have to give something to attain what you want. The Lord is telling us, if you want peace, let go of all these things in your life. Have repentance in your heart. Acknowledge 
accept your weakness, your sinfulness, and make a decision through the power of the Spirit being given to us to inflame us para itulak tayo mag upang baguhin ang ating buhay. That is what Advent is all about. To make a decision to welcome the Lord. But when we welcome the Lord, the presence of God cannot but move us and make us better person. That is the presence of God sa buhay natin. We are being moved to become like Him by following His footstep in how He loves, understands, forgives His brothers and sisters. So once again, my dear friends, the challenge of our celebration for today is the true spirit of repentance. And that is making a decision to renew your life to remove all the negative things, the bad things in us, and we will try to live it day by day. So once again, my dear friends, God bless us all.